Well, President Trump says he has worked very hard on his first State of the Union speech. Today, the president told reporters it will feature some familiar themes like immigration, the corporate tax cut, and trade. How it plays in the I-4 corridor is crucial to presidential politics. That's why CBS This Morning host John Dickerson picked people from our area for a focus group this weekend. So I asked Dickerson what he learned and what he expects from the State of the Union. Are these people who supported him, or are you talking to a wide variety of people? We've got a mix in our focus group of people who supported President Trump, people who voted against President Trump. We've also got a few people who were very lukewarm about him at first and who are now supporting him quite a lot. So we've got a, a range of different opinions. What do you expect to hear from some of the folks when you ask them of how they feel one year into the administration? One of the great things about these focus groups is you get people talking in real ways about the way they feel about politics. And we tend to uh, pass around a lot of familiar phrases when we assess politics, but when you talk to real voters about their real lives, you get a kind of deeper sense of the way people connect to their government and the way people connect to their president. Talk to me about if you think the State of the Union will be traditional as other presidents have, have done in the past or with the Trump administration, do you think we'll see something different? President Trump has been the most improvisational, unpredictable president, and the State of the Union is the most straightforward, predictable, traditional thing. So it'll be really interesting to watch this president who has changed and broken and made up new rules go into this venue that has got so many rules and traditions associated with it. My assumption is that he will try to probably just inhabit the role of the president in that speech. The challenge then will be, will anybody actually listen to the speech? The State of the Union is already a speech people don't often listen to. But because the president makes so much other news in other places, will it quickly pass from the moment into some other moment? But do you think more people would be interested in it now because it is his first one and he is so unpredictable, so the interest level is high because you just don't know what might happen? President Trump Trump will make this a fascinating moment, even if he delivers the most boring, traditional State of the Union ever, because people are watching to see what this improvisational president will do with this very big, traditional moment in American politics. But even if he stays on script, that will still make news because he stayed on script. Even if President Trump stays on script and looks like a boring old president, that'll be huge news because he has not been a president who stayed on script.